All right. The Yankees just signed another infielder. Let's talk about it. Hey, gang. Hello again. So the Yankees just signed another infielder. Okay. You know who this guy is? This is 26-year-old, soon to be 27-year-old, versatile infielder Kevin Smith. Played with the Oakland days. He was at the AAA and a major league level. Okay. And he's uh, he's got one year of major league experience, meaning what? He's got five years of control left. So what does this tell us? It tells me that the Yankees are clear, clearly looking to accumulate some more infield depth because they're going to be trading away some infielders in the near future. What teams represent fits right now that have pitchers that the Yankees need who also need infielders? The Brewers, they need middle infield help. Okay, this guy, Kevin Smith, plays uh, third base and shortstop, so gives him some versatility. And the Mar- the Marlins need infield help, okay? And the, Mar- and the uh, Mariners need infield help. So the each one of those teams has a pitcher or pitchers that the Yankees could use in a trade. And again, they have guys like Oswald Peraza who has more trade value now adding that fourth option. And the Yankees have also have, have his built-in replacement already with Yorbit Vivas. So um, this makes all the sense in the world. And it's not only him. It could be some other infielders too, like Tyler Hardman that the Yankees can move, uh, who's got a more superior bat than Peraza, as well as some of these other players too. But all signs are pointing towards the Yankees moving an infielder or a couple of infielders or a couple of bats in the near future to gain some pitching in a trade, addressing needs via trade. And again, the only other player right now in free agency that's a, a significant bat is Cody Bellinger. But the fact is nobody's signing him right now. So there's no pressure for the Yankees to sign him either. If the market keeps collapsing and they somehow move more bats, making room for him, then maybe. But this is a strategic move, clearly, for the Yankees. And I expect them to make some consequential moves moving forward too. Not going to all be sexy, but this could be a, a, a small chess piece being moved for the bigger chess pieces to be moved later. So make sure that you're subbed to the channel. That way when these moves do happen and they will happen, okay, they signed them. It sounds like they signed to a minor league deal. So he's not on the 40 yet. Okay. If he signed to a major league deal, he'd be on the 40. Their 40 right now is at 40 and they still have five catchers on there. They're going to be moving some catchers and they may even move some relievers. So the Yankees are going to be busy over the next month or so next five weeks it's five weeks until spring training starts they will be adding pitching whether it be free of free agency or trade and this is these are the types of moves that the yankees make to set themselves up to make it easier to make these types of trades so stay tuned gang i'll keep it coming talk to y'all later